Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to the Voice of Hope. Today, we're going to continue with day number three of our series on the life of Naaman. So far, we have seen two important lessons from this, uh, from this man. The first one is that we must not pay evil for evil. And the second one we saw was that we must go to the right place for our healings. Today's message has been entitled, God's message is simple. Yes, my dear friends, you see, whatever God has for us, He communicates to us in a very simple language. And whatever we need from God, God often comes through to us in a very simple, common way. Sometimes, unfortunately, as us, human beings, because of the nature, because of how God's message can sometimes be so simple, we sometimes tend to doubt it. This is what happened to Naaman. In 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 9 and 10, the Bible says, So Naaman came with his horses and chariot and stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be clean. Th th that was it. Naaman, a mighty man, an army general respected by his governor traveled all the way from Syria with horses, with a lot of men and to ride. It was today. It would be, you, you would see, you know, the armed vehicles with sirens and motorcade ahead of them going to visit this powerful man of God, only to be told. In fact, Naaman didn't even see the man of God. Naaman only had a messenger from the man of God coming to tell him that go to Jordan River and back, wash yourself seven times and you'll be okay. Simple message. Because of its simplicity, Naaman didn't want to believe it. Naaman fought it and said, how dare you talk to me like that? Do you, do you, do you, do you know where I come from? In my town, there are better rivers than I could have bathed in. Why should I go and bath in this dirty Jordan River? It was a simple message. It was a simple instruction. Naaman didn't want to do it. Whatever God has for you comes in a very simple way. God simply says, don't eat this and you'll be well. He simply says, another Sabbath day and you prosper you. God gives us simple instructions. If we obey them, it will be well with us. Are you obeying the simple instructions of God? Sometimes as human beings, it's like we want some deep knowledge. What do you want that for? God says, just go and dip yourself seven times in the water. Today, God says, if you want to be saved, just go into that water and be baptized. Simple. It doesn't take much effort, so simple. But the simple things of God, my dear friends, leads to greater blessings if we obey them with all our heart. So why don't you today ignore those so-called deep secrets, deep knowledge that these so-called men of God are pumping into your ears and listen to the simple word of God. If you love me, do as I say. So simple. If you love me, keep my commandment. If you love me, come to me. He says, come just as you are. As simple instructions. He says, if you are heavy laden, come to me. Simple call. He says, come. If your sins are scarlet, simple call. Everything God has for us, my dear friends, He talks to us straightforward in a simple way. But when we obey it, we will receive our blessings. May God bless you today even as you take heed to the simple call of God in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Shalom.